Righto legends, well today we're hunting pigs. Got some men in the freezer the other day, so there's no need to target buff. Obviously if we see a big bull, that'll be a different story. But at the moment, I'm just focusing on pigs and preferably boars. We got some good weather today for once. It's only 29, which is the coolest day I can remember for quite a while, and we got some decent wind. So I'm excited. Yeah, let's get after it. That was hectic. I pretty much just smoked him at 30. Pretty much what happened was, basically between that first intro to now, I hardly filmed at all because I went and looked at a few places and couldn't really find anything to film. No sign at all really, but just coming to this little spot where there's some wallows and that, and spotted this ball straight away walking towards, not towards me, but towards where my wind was heading. So I knew he would smell me in like 30 seconds maybe. So I didn't have any time to film. As soon as I saw him, I basically, 
I was out of his sight, so I ran downwind and looped around to get downwind of him. And then he was sort of just working his way around these wallows and I snuck in, yeah, to 30 here. And he moved his way around, bedded down for a couple of minutes and then stood up and the shot was a tiny bit far forward, it looked, and maybe a tiny bit low, but like tiny. I could see blood pouring out, so I knew I smoked him. And yeah, he's down within 25 meters of me. I was shaking so bad then, rushing to get set up like that. Don't have much time for you to settle your nerves at all. But made the shot happen, so I'm stoked. I'll go back, grab my pack, and we'll just head over and have a look at him. All right, well, here's that boy as I found him. You can see here, shot was slightly far forward and slightly low. I don't know if you can see from the angle you're on, but yeah, Ari's entered just here. Ideally, I would have put it just here. So I'm probably a couple inches off. Somehow my broadhead's come out of my arrow. That's probably the most disappointing part. Try and find that. The broadhead I used was a Kaeger Pilot Cut 175 grain. And you can see there by that entry hole, like that's done some serious damage. Got penetration through both, both shoulders. I'll roll him over quickly. Oh yeah. So that exit is right here. The exit's perfect, so yeah, I guess he was slightly quartering to me. He's got some decent headgear on him. Still not a, not a huge bore. I'll send him up for some furrows and I'll give you a better look at him. He's no monster by any means. He's quite small in the body. I don't think he's that old overall. He hasn't got too many scars on him. And his headgear is not, it's not crazy good. It's probably average, I would say. I'll try and give you a look here. I'll give you some close-ups in a minute, but... They are razor sharp. Something interesting about him, I noticed he's missing his tail. I don't know if you can see that from your angle, but yeah, his tail has been chopped off. So, I don't know, I guess he's done that from fighting, which is quite interesting. I haven't seen that before. I did actually find the broadhead too. I had a quick, long, a quick look along like where his blood trail was, and yeah, sure enough, it was just sitting on the ground. So, that'll be going back in my quiver for sure. Uh, Kyogre 175 grain my favorite but yeah this blew straight through both his, both his shoulders uh, and then got caught up on the fletchings as you would have saw but yeah something you guys might not know about boars or some is uh, they actually have like basically armor plating on both both their shoulders all in this area which it's basically like a thick layer layer of um like hardened fat and cartilage i think and yeah, it's literally like an armor plate. You can feel it. it's rock hard, and it basically protects them from when they're when they're fighting with each other. It, with each other, because some of them have pretty big tusks, and yeah, it stops them from being able to penetrate through each other's shoulders. But yeah, pretty stoked with him. Probably going to take the headgear out of him and see if we can get a few more on the ground. Well, as you can see, there's a small mob of pigs probably about yeah, 80 metres away. But then I've just spotted, looks to be a good boar, it's hard to tell from this angle, but a good boar probably about 200 metres away further down on the billabong. And he's by himself. I tell you, I definitely know he's a boar. And I'm tempted, actually at the moment, these pig look, pigs look like they're walking into the back into the bush, but that boar looks like he's sound asleep. And I know of a giant boar in this area. It's the biggest boar I've ever seen. And for that fact alone, knowing that could be him, I'm gonna do a big circle around this whole billabong. The wind's gonna be iffy, just with where he is. Again, big old boars, they know what they're doing. Where he's positioning himself is gonna be hard to stalk in on. But, I'm going to give it a crack.
Holy shit. Now that was insane. I cannot believe that just happened. I'm only just starting to shake now. It is not very often you pull off a shot like that where the animal's pretty much dead where it lays. He thrashed around for a bit there. I considered shooting him again, but I was looking at him and I was like, nah, he's not actually alive. It's just nerves going. The legs just start kicking. It's just nerves, but... I set the camera up here at 40, snuck in the 30, and just, I reckon I'll put it straight through his heart. Oh, and actually, a minute ago when I told you I was gonna um, stalk around the other side of the billabong all the way around, I got about a quarter of the way around and I decided to come back this way because those other pigs had gone. So they weren't gonna be an issue for me. And the, the way he was facing, he was facing the other way. So it just worked out better for me to come this way. And yeah, sure enough, pretty easy stalk. He was really relaxed, had no idea I was here. And yeah, crept forward the camera and just put it right, right on the money. I have not seen him yet, if he's the giant or not. But if he is, I'm just gonna lose it. Man, today, this wind being relatively consistent is just making all the difference. Let's go have a look at him. All right, fellas, well, here's that boar, and he is big. He's significantly bigger than that last one we shot. Unfortunately, though, he's not the giant that I was hoping for. His headgear's, you know, nothing crazy, really. He's broken off on one side as well. But, yeah, he's just a big, healthy boar. So, yeah, that's bloody awesome. So stoked with that stalk, and my last minute decision to come back the way I ended up coming. And that shot was just just on the money. So yeah, and I pressed record. So I couldn't be happier really. Two boards in an arvo. This time of year is very good. Just with the wind, the wind always being so shit this time of year up here, but yeah. Haven't found the arrow. I'm guessing it broke off when he was thrashing around in the water, but I'm not too keen on getting in and digging around for an arrow up here. You never really know what's in the water, but we'll see. I might have a quick look. There's a few storms around. There's one over here and one over here. I'm sort of right in the middle, it looks like, so I'm not sure. Got a few more spots I can check on the way back to the car, but we'll see how we go. All right guys, well as you can see, it's a little bit wet right now. I haven't gone too far and I've just spotted a good sized boar. I don't know if it's the giant, but it's definitely a good sized boar. So I'm gonna make a plan going for a stalk. The wind's kind of iffy at the moment, but we'll see how we go.
find him. Alright, well I've just come back over to where I left my pack. Got it done on that bore in the rain, 42 yards. I don't know if you could see on the GoPro, I wish I took the big camera, but at the same time, it was raining pretty hard there for most of that stalk. And I don't know if my camera would have survived, it's not properly waterproofed because I dropped it once, but... Um, yeah, you could literally see the vapor trail on the arrow as it was shooting through the, the rain. It looked insane. It hit slightly high, so I spined him. I hate, I, don't, I hate when that happens, um, but I rushed over quickly, put a second shot in him, straight through the heart, and I was just watching that blood pump out, and yeah, he was done. Well, here he is, the third boar of the day, and he's he's another solid boar. He's not the giant, though. He's not that giant boar I saw a few weeks ago. I could have sworn I saw him through the binos when it was pouring rain. I saw him, I thought I saw him walking out all with his scruffle up, walking out to the mob of pigs, and yeah, I was like, that's gotta be him, like he looked really aggressive. But then I, I stalked in and I just, I got to 10 yards at one point, and I just couldn't pick him, like, I could not pick him the whole time, and then even when this guy presented an opportunity at 42, 42 yards, yeah, I, I was still like, I don't, you know, it, I didn't think it was him. A boar's a boar, I was still gonna take the opportunity I was comf comfortable at 42 yards. This guy's quite scarred up. His, his ear here, I don't know if you can see that. It's all torn up as hell. What a cracking day. Three boars. Guys, I'll just show you real quick. I basically just uh, had to cut into him a little bit just to get my arrow out. That's the broadhead there. Literally looks like it's just come out of the box. So that's awesome. It's still even sharp. So pretty stoked with that. But I also thought I may as well show you this quickly what their fighting pad looks like. So this is this is not a very old ball. Like he's he's mature but he's not like a really old ball. But you can see there that's you know that one's probably like an inch 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 and a half. I don't know. But yeah that's their fighting pad I was telling you about earlier. And it's super super tough. It's basically just like hardened sort of fat or cartilage I'm not even sure. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be the end of this one. Just heading back to the car now. The rain stopped. It's a nice harbor and I'm just soaking it all in. You know, this has been an absolutely sick day. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I can see a lot of you guys who are watching the videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you can do that, appreciate it a lot. And if any of you guys are interested in getting into bow hunting, if you just stumbled across these videos and you're in Australia especially, yeah, go ahead, give us a DM on Instagram. I'm more than happy to help you.
point you in the right direction. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one.